CE Zoom is not just a fancy tallying and filing cabinet. It is a true state-specific compliance tracker. When a professional is 100% compliant with their CE renewal requirements, the professional will be able to digitally submit their transcript straight to the state's CE Zoom account during the license renewal process. The transcript will be displayed exactly the same for each license type increasing the understanding of what is being presented and decreasing the time needed to review during an audit. The top of the transcript will display the requirements overview, how many CEs are required, how many have been completed, and how many have been applied to the overall CE requirements. This transcript shows that CE Zoom is not just a tallying filing cabinet. It is actually allocating earned CEs according to the state's requirements for this dental professional in Tennessee. This valuable tool allows the state to know exactly how the professional fulfilled their requirements. The transcript is broken up into groups that separate the CE requirements by minimum requirements, maximum requirements, excluded CEs, approved providers, and more. Any group that has a minimum CE requirement will have a progress bar to show the percentage of completion for that particular group. Group 1 displays the CPR requirements showing that the state requires the professional to have an active CPR card each renewal period, and it must be a live course taken by an approved provider recognized by the state of Tennessee. Any courses taken by a provider not recognized by the state will be stored for proof of attendance, but the CE credit hours will not be applied towards the renewal requirement. CE Zoom flags all manual uploaded CEs yellow for fast recognition of CEs that may have been manipulated or entered incorrectly by the professional. By clicking the View button, the auditor can view in line the way the professional inputted the CE, and compare it to the certificate. All CE certificates issued through CE Zoom will be displayed as pre-audited. These CE certificates are personalized to the professional and cannot be manipulated, edited, or allocated to track differently. Only the state has the authority to deny the way it is being allocated. The state can still view pre-audited CEs by clicking on the View Certificate button. All CE requirements that have a maximum limit set will stop applying the CEs towards the renewal requirements once a limit has been reached. CE Zoom also tracks continuing education credits that can be attained by any method other than class instruction. Groups 5 through 8 allow the professional to submit proof of CEs for being a presenter, examiner, and author. The professional can upload proof of their scheduled presentation, examiner schedule, publication documentation, and more for the state to view. All CEs that are not recognized by the state will be stored and tracked under the exclusion group for proof of attendance, but again will not be applied towards the total CE requirements. Any CEs that did not match the state's requirements will be listed at the bottom of the transcript with a no-match explanation. Lastly, if the professional holds multiple licenses and permits, they will be able to manage both simultaneously. For Tennessee's deep sedation permit, ACLS and PALS is required, but the earned CEs do not satisfy the additional four credit hours required to renew the permit. However, if the professional did not have an active ACLS CE, the transcript would not show compliance. Any CEs the professional tries to allocate to their permit transcript that is not recognized to satisfy the requirement will be listed under the no match group and the CEs will not be applied. If the auditor denies a CE, the CE will be dismissed and the tracker will auto calculate the professional's compliance level. At the completion of the audit, if the professional's tracker still shows 100%, then the professional passed the audit.